hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i have something fun for a review i'm gonna be reviewing the pure i want to say like a silly sponge it's called what's the name of it pillow blend and this is what it looks like and it feels so soft now I really haven't tried any of the other silly sponges or any of the silicone sponges so this is gonna be a first for me so I'm like is it usually this soft I don't know so I just got this at Ulta last night and I was like why not do a review, review over it and this is from pure or per I don't know and it comes in a nice kind of like the block bag is really sealed in there so but guys, when I tell you this feels so soft, like, this is ridiculously soft. So, I'm gonna put some foundation on with this and see how it works. And I'm pretty excited because it actually feels really good on the face. So, I'm gonna go ahead and prime and then get to put on okay, the foundation. Guys, so, if you're new to this channel... I do my eyebrows before my foundation, so you know, and there's nothing new there. I decided to go with the same foundation route. So now that I got my eyebrows done, my skin is prepped and ready to go. I'm gonna be using my tried and true L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade N8, which is probably a little bit dark for me right now since it's getting cooler outside and the sun's not out all the time. But yeah, so I'm gonna be using that. I I don't know how I want to start off with it, but I guess I'll put some a little bit on here. Okay, this is how much I'm putting on. And I'll be looking in my mirror here. And I guess just tap all over. And then just pat it out to see if it's blending. It feels really soft on the skin and I like how the angle is so you can get in here really good. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Okay, one thing I will say about this is it's kind of like messy because because it's so silicone it's sliding all over the place and i'm getting it like i don't know if you guys can see but i'm getting it on the angle so it's slipping off here but other than that another thing it's it's kind of awkward to hold your hand i don't know how to hold my hand right so that's one thing that's awkward about it and it's getting there's dense in there i don't know if you guys can see but it's getting in there so i have to make sure i use or know where to put the product placement but it does feel really soft and i like how it i thought that it was going to be hard on the skin because i'd just be patting like this but i have no complaints right now Okay, so I finished my foundation and I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face off camera and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Okay, I know I said that I was gonna do my concealer off of camera, but I just did this eye and I just wanted to say, I've seen a lot of reviews on where they're like, it hurts around the eye or it's really rough around the eye. And I don't know if it's just this particular one or what, but I mean, this feels really comfortable. Let me, let me show you guys here. It is really easy to get up in the corner of your eye and I mean over. This feels really comfortable. And as far as blending goes, it seems to be doing good really now. I have to just see how this is setting, but I mean, I'm not mad at it. So I'm gonna go finish off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, now it's time to give my final review. So this pure, what is it, pillow blend is definitely worth the $12 that it is. I love it. Actually, I love the finish of my foundation. I love how everything came out. It feels so smooth. You know what? 
I just gotta set the face one more time because I am feeling super good. It blends perfectly, perfectly. To me, it does better than a beauty blender, but I mean, of course, it just depends on how you like your beauty blender, your brushes, or whatever. It actually makes your foundation feel a little velvety, I'd say. I'd say, I don't know if it's because of how this is, how the texture of this is, but, and I'd say this is actually really durable. I don't know how long it'll last me. Maybe I'll do like an update video of how long it'll last me to see if that's really worth the money. But I mean, right now I say it's a win for me. So if you're able to get your hands on this at a local Ulta or maybe Sephora, I don't know if Sephora carries this, but I would definitely do it. And if anything to keep it more sanitary you wash this out and stick it right back in here so thank you for tuning in guys and stay tuned for the next video